before we point the finger and say is anyone a tether we gotta pull the thumb and ask am I a tether So if you ain't noticed, there's this little online tribal war between the Negroes, as usual, about foreign blacks coming into black America and tethering off of us, shoehorning themselves into our culture and policy, and jumping to the forefront, cosplaying as one of us. Is there a truth to that? I'll get to that at the end. But I got to ask a deeper question. The whole race of black men. I'm talking to the black man. The whole race of black men. Is the black man a tether that latches on to other men in order to act and feel like he has power? Let's look at history. Let's start with the first tethering of the black man. And this is arguable, but the Christians, the beginning of Christianity. Okay, there are a few uh, of the first early Christians that were black, that were Africans. One of the first apostles, Simon of Niger, is actually black. So we are a part of Christianity being developed in the very beginning I'm not talking about what color the Hebrew were and all that nonsense I'm just telling you there was a black man for sure Simon of Niger who was part of developing early Christianity further on it goes there are actually two popes there was a European Pope and an African Pope um, the Europeans took power eventually over the African Pope and they became the power and hub of Christianity. There is still to this day an African Pope, but he has no real power or anything. The European Popes took over. Now, of those European Popes, two Popes are actually black. They are completely removed from Catholic history. They don't even talk about them. If you bring it up, they'll act like it didn't exist. But if you talk to a few priests, they'll tell you there were two early Popes. Also in Hebrew history, there's several black people in Hebrew history that they can't wipe away for sure for sure and I did an earlier video on that blacks and Hebrews so we know that black people are in Christianity at the beginning who runs Christianity now black people have been completely pushed out of Christianity but they wanted to act like we could all be friends we can all unite and come together. And that's one of the earliest times that the black man was pushed to the side because nobody wants to have you in their group with them. And that's something he does not understand. They don't want to walk hand in hand with you and be Christian brothers in Jesus Christ. You are to remain at the bottom. There's a verse that says, Treat your slave as your brother. Did any of the European Christians treat us as their brothers when we were enslaved? No. You're to remain at the bottom. So you run in that BS about we're all Christians and let's love one another. Little black girls and little black boys walking and holding hands. They don't want to hear that mess. They might hear that mess with Asians. They might hear that mess, mess with even Mexicans. They do not want to hear that mess with black people. Let's move on besides those early Christians. The Arab invasion of North Africa. The first Muslim is Bilal. Every Muslim knows this. How do black Muslims get treated? They get treated like crap. Oh, we're all brothers in Islam. We're all brothers in Islam. Arabs cannot stand black Africans. They have enslaved them for 1,000 years and castrated them. They hate us. 
but you try to get up there and tether yourself to the Arab and dress like him and walk around like him and put your woman in all black garb like him and then act like you're you're part of him. He doesn't want you marrying his daughters. You are nothing but a tool for him, but you want to tether to him. Africa, Muslim countries in Africa got invaded by white Christians. When a Muslim country is invaded, all Muslims are supposed to come to help those Muslims who are invaded. That's Islamic law. Name one time an Arab Muslim came to a black Muslim's defense. One time. Not in Africa. Not in al Andalus, known as Spain today. Never. But you want to act like you're part of them. Oh, I got a new religion. I'm not like the rest of you Negroes. A holiday he lived the holiday hum. No. You're tethering to that man and you think that you can gain power by dressing and acting like him. Look at Dubai. Look at Kuwait. Look at Somalia. Look at Northern Sudan. Muslim African countries. They don't invest in them. They're not trying to help them build. They don't give a damn. They enslave them. Somali Muslims are getting enslaved in Libya right now. But you want to act like you better than the rest of the Negroes because you got a new religion. Let's move on. The Western Empires. Western Europe's invasion and colonization of Africa. Okay. Do you know that there are Africans at the time in the 17 and 1800s that thought that they were actually French? So they signed up and went to fight for the French Legion? They would sing songs thinking that they're French. If you ask them, are you an African? Are you black? They'll say, no, I'm a Frenchman. Yeah. The black man is a tether. Instead of building his own, he wants to latch on to another man. Instead of me building my own empire and building power, I could just go be a part of his stuff and dress like him and act like him, even go to war for him and die for him, and I'll be a part of this power. The English. A lot of the English colonies, those Africans thought they were English people. Take Nigeria, even still to this day. They think they're English. They have a word for England's king that re that it's something like the true king or our king. They still think England's king is their king. England abandoned Nigeria. Some Nigerians are calling for recolonization. They don't even want to recolonize it. The English cannot stand them. But somehow these people think that they're English, that they're part of them. I speak the king's English. I'm looking at Nigeria, I'm looking at Kenya. They don't like you. Stop trying to be part of that man's stuff. Some crazy lady, what did she say? They was looking at the royal when Meghan Markle and all them was out there. They said, oh, what's well, so white? Why is there so many white people? Those aren't your people. Those are not your people. The black man is brainwashed. Let's talk about Spain. The Dominican Republic. Mic mixed race of Spaniards, the natives that were there, and Africans. These people hate Africans. Not all Dominicans, but a lot. Too many. If you ask them if they're African, they'll say, no, I'm Spaniard. What a big Afro on darker than me and you. I know black. Dominican Republic is the only nation in the history of history that I know of that is asked to be re-enslaved. When the Haitians freed the island, they hated the Haitians. Okay, there's some stuff there that went on. But you know they was asked the nations to come and re-enslave them, not to be free. They asked to be re-enslaved. They missed their master. A lot of black Latinos think that. That they Spanish. They not an African. They walk around with an afro and big nose and big lips. I come from Spain. The black man is a tether. I'm getting down a list here. Just wait. He thinks because he speaks this man's language. Walks like him, talks like him. Does his culture. Nobody wants black people in their society in mass. Why? Black people will wipe you out if you let too many of them in there. Our gene pool is too goddamn strong. 
I do believe there's some other things about it um, or physical features. Um, there's almost a crazed homosexual animosity towards this as well. That's another video. Nobody wants black people in their collective. They don't care if you share the same religion. They don't care if you have the same culture. They don't even care if you have the same, uh, a bit of the same bloodlines. They do not want black people in their society. Amongst them in mass. And lastly. The American African. The Afro-American. The black American. The American Negro. Whatever you want to call it. I got an analogy that I say. I just came up with this. The black American is like a dog who is kept outside in the freezing snow, chained up. And one day, some criminals came and tried to run in the house and assault the family. Dad getting beat up. They about to hurt the whole entire family. The dog sees this, who is the black American. He breaks off his chain. He comes in the house, he bites the shit out of all of them, tears their asses up, saves the whole family. The criminals run out the house. He saves them. He saves the day. The family says, yay. They hug the dog. They kiss the dog. They go get some chicken, some fried chicken. They cook up the dog a meal. They feed it to the dog. Dog's like, yeah, I'm finally in the house now. A week or two weeks go by. They say, all right, that's enough. They take the dog. They walk them back outside and they chain them back up and they leave them outside. That is black America. Nothing worse than an outdoor cat thinking it's an indoor cat. They do not want us in their society. We have done more for America than damn near anybody. More for America than the goddamn Italians or the Irish. Are we accepted? No. No. We are hated on a local, state, and federal level. Hated. Hated, hated, hated. You should hear white people talk. L li uh, listen, white people sit around and talk about us all goddamn day. They talk about hurting us, killing us. We ain't nothing. It's like their national pastime. White America hates black America more than Russians. White America hates black America more than any Arab country that blew up their damn towers. White America hates black America more than anything, more than the Chinese, more than anyone. Tell me one group of people that white America, the dominant society, hates more than black America. Nobody. And you know, the question is asked, well, why? I mean, I, who cares? They hate us. If you was on a football team and you was a star player and you was making all these touchdowns, but the whole locker room hated you, even the coach hated you, but they knew at times they needed you, would you stay on that team and keep playing? I'm an American. You don't talk about me. Ah, I belong here. Ah. I ain't saying a piece of this country don't belong to you. I'm not saying we should get up and leave and go back to Africa. That's impossible. What I'm telling you is. They hate you. No one has done more harm to black America. Than the dominant society. Than the government of the United States. The, the shit that they've done to us. And the way they've treated us post-slavery. Is just inhumane. And all we wanted to do was to be loved and to be part of the society and help. And what did we get? We got crack cocaine. After we went and kicked ass in World War II, we came home. We got hung, lynched for wearing our uniforms. Was there any type of compensation? Was there anything? They hate you. 
When you go into a courtroom and you're in front of the judge, the judge hates you. I did a test. You could do it too. If you live in a white city and there's a lot of white people around you, walk, walk, walk around, and next time you see a cop that's white, say hello. Try to try to get about four or five cops over a few weeks and just say hi and hello to them. Watch how many say hello back to you. When I was living in the north, I'm back down south now. When I was living in the north, no white cop that I didn't know, didn't know me personally, ever said hello to me. And I would purposely do it. Hey, how you doing? They're put here to police us and to hurt us. They like causing pain to you. They don't want you in the damn society. It's some sick shit. It's, 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 I don't even know. It's almost spiritual. Like I said, I don't know nobody that white America hates more than the American African. But you want to be a part of it. You keep trying and trying and trying and trying and trying to be a part of it. You can't. Why do you want to be a part of it? Because you see that power. You want to go in the big house. I want to be a part of the big house. You know, some of the slaves thought that they was that plantation was theirs. And they used to get into fist fights with other slaves about who had a better plantation. Nigga, you don't own that shit. Ain't none of this yours. I know you put a lot of work in to build up this plantation, but ain't none of it yours. But when you say to the Negro, hey, let's just worry about ourselves. Let's not worry about all this. Let's not get involved with these other people and their other problems. Let's go over here. Let's not worry about Ohio, Pennsylvania, Michigan. Let's not worry about California. Let's go back down south to the southeast and let's worry about three to four cities and that's it. No, what are you talking about? Our people over here and yada, yada, yada. And we all did, man. What, what are you talking about? You're a tether. You're a tether. You want some of this white man's glory and you put a lot of work into this. These people wouldn't even have got to the moon if it wasn't for our, our woman and her math. Who made the light bulb work? It was a black man. How much have we given this, this country? And still, to this day, you think Congress wants the best for black America? You think Nancy Pelosi and even them other people on the other side of the, the right wing, any of them people were sitting around saying, you know what? We want black men, young black men to be highly educated and suitable citizens. We want them to practice all their rights. Hell no. To quote Amos Wilson, the most dangerous person is the educated person. They don't want you in their society. But you stay trying to hang on to this man. You are a tether black man. Now, for foreign black people, do they come in here and try to get a piece of our shine? Yeah, because we're the number one black people. Some of these other black people, they don't have heroes. They don't have a Marcus Garvey. They don't have a Bob Marley. They don't have no Haitian Revolution. They don't have a Muhammad Ali. They ain't got shit. They're nobody. And they want that shine. They want the monkey show. They want to stand up there and have all white people look at them while we run around with tights on and do funny stuff with balls. It's another video. And they want that to be them. Instead of going and building their own. It's the same thing with the soccer league. Instead of them building their own soccer league in Africa, which everybody will watch, they run to England and go be a part of their shit. Instead of building their own. Why haven't we built our own sports leagues here? We got the three-on-three. -three. Ice Cube just did that. We should have did that a long time ago. It's like a new thing that black people are making their own sports shows. We should have did that in the 90s. We only got one black film studio. Tyler Perry, that's it. And then we sit up here and cry and beg to be a part of his shit. Hey, we want a seat at the table. We want a seat at the table. I couldn't beat a white man because I will tell you, man, y'all would be mad. 
I'll throw you a couple dollars, a little bit of land, and I'll tell you to get the hell out. Y'all would be mad at me. The black man is a tether. All of them. I'm telling you. Was he always like this? No. Has he broken away a few times? In the 60s, we had our shit together. We didn't capitalize on that in the 60s. All over the planet, we could have got something really, really done. We could have got money. We could have got more land. We could have got a lot of stuff done. All we wanted to do was walk hand in hand with white folks and skip through the tulips. Same thing with South Africa. Y'all didn't go for reparations. Y'all wanted to hold hands and skip through the tulips. I'm hurting your feelings, but that's because I know you can take it. Because I want you to stand up, black man. I want you to do for yourself. I want you to build your own. Because if the country falls apart right now, you're going to be on your own and you're going to be starving in the streets and your young men are going to be acting worse than they are now. They're going to be acting more than animals. They're going to be like zombies. And you know what this white man does to zombies. You're going to have to stand up. You're going to have to do for self. You're going to have to stop trying to lynch on to another man's power and build your own. White man falls down, the black man will be talking about he's Chinese next. Speaking his language. Trying to act like him. Instead of building his own. Building his own factories. Building his own schools. Unifying with other black countries. Black man don't want to do that. He has disdain for other black men. It's the truth. That's why we're going to have to take a few of us the best of us and we're gonna to have to do it ourselves you're gonna to have to do it yourself we can't do it with everybody because the black man he's lazy he's mentally lazy not physically lazy he can even get straight A's on a test you know who got the number one doctorate PhDs in the United States it's Nigerians but what's the matter with their country they don't want to do what's needed to, to build it up. They'd rather just go have a job. We just want a job instead of building our own. Like Elon Musk. So, stand up. We're going to do it. Get with a few like minds. And let's do for self and build for our own. One.